Did you know that the United States Army Recruiting Command has a Family Advocacy Program? Your go-to person for the Family Advocacy Program is your Brigade Family Advocacy Program Coordinator. The phone number to reach them is 1-800-255-2769. You might be asking, so what is the Family Advocacy Program? The Family Advocacy Program helps soldiers and their families recognize and prepare for the unique challenges of military lifestyles. We are dedicated to the prevention of domestic abuse, child abuse, and neglect of soldiers and their families through offering education, prompt reporting, investigation, intervention, and treatment. In USREC, we rely heavily on that nearest installation to help provide our investigation, intervention, and treatment. Our USREC Family Advocacy Program coordinators provide education and awareness of the Family Advocacy Program, and they work with the commanders in the nearest installation when there are those allegations of abuse. There are three main types of domestic abuse. First, there's physical abuse, and that's typically what we think of. Slapping, pushing, punching, kicking, biting, burning, shaking, or strangulation. We also have emotional abuse. That would be bullying behavior, threatening, controlling, isolating from friends or family, belittling, shaming, threatening, withdrawing love and affection. And then there's sexual abuse. For partners, that's any forced sexual contact without consent or with the use of coercion or manipulation. For children, that would be any sexual contact with a child, taking pornographic photos of them or showing them pornography. There is a fourth category for child abuse, and that is neglect. Neglect is the lack of providing basic care for a child, whether that be food, clothing, shelter, education, medical care, or supervision. So how do we know abuse is occurring if we don't witness the actual event? So for domestic violence, there are various warning signs. It might include injuries in various stages of healing, or unexplained injuries, or explanations that don't quite make sense. They might have a change of behavior, suddenly become withdrawn from friends or family, not have access to money, having to constantly check in with their partner, letting them know who they're with, where they're going, what time they'll be back, no longer attending social functions like they used to, or perhaps having difficulty coming to work on time or frequent unexplained absences. The key is to notice these warning signs and to ask what's going on with them. It very well could be that there's other explanations financial issues, mental health issues, but to have the opportunity to notice and to ask so you can help provide them with information on resources that can help with whatever they're going through. The signs of child abuse are very similar to that of domestic violence. Children may also have injuries in various stages of healing or unexplained injuries or explanations that don't make sense. They may be depressed, withdrawn, they might be afraid to go home, feel fearful of their parent. They might be attention seeking. If they've been sexually abused, they might be sexually acting out. They might sexually act out on other children, or they might have sexual knowledge beyond what's appropriate for their maturity level. If they've been neglected, they might have poor weight gain or growth, or poor school performance if they've not been attending school. Victims of domestic abuse have reporting options. They can make an unrestricted report or a restricted report. An unrestricted report of domestic abuse allows for an official investigation using current reporting channels, such as the chain of command, the family advocacy program, or law enforcement. A restricted report of domestic abuse allows a victim to disclose details of their abuse to specific individuals in order to receive medical treatment and victim advocacy services without notifying their offender, the chain of command, or law enforcement. 
Victims of domestic abuse who want to make a restricted report must do so only to the following individuals. A domestic abuse victim advocate, a family advocacy program clinician, or their healthcare provider. Once friends, family, or anyone outside of this list becomes aware of the abuse allegations, that report is no longer restricted. In order to report child abuse, you can call your local Child Protective Services or the National Child Abuse Hotline. You can also contact your Brigade Family Advocacy Program Coordinator or the nearest installation with a Family Advocacy Program. Of course, if ever you fear your child is in immediate danger, please call 911. For more information on the Family Advocacy Program, you can call your Brigade Family Advocacy Program Coordinator Again, their number is 1-800-255-2769. All you need to do is select the number that goes with your brigade. MRB would be the number nine. You can also look on the USREC website under Family Information. There's more information about the Family Advocacy Program along with other supportive services. And Military OneSource has great resources for more information on the Family Advocacy Program and supportive services for victims of domestic violence or child abuse.